Hi, how are you? Today we are going to draw a nice shade of the chicken perm. So let's start the drawing. Usually the perm, you know, they set up a large shade in a long range. And under that bigger house, they can produce lots of broiler chicken which is the common food in many countries and people's favorite item we have many different recipes for chicken such as chicken curry fried chicken in america in some places they call the chicken wings some are spicy some are less spicy so i am just drawing the shade in which the chicken is raised so you can see it's a very bigger house i'm using a scale to make it a straight line and using a pencil You can see the drawing is going on just follow the procedures I'm just doing step by step and the uh, drawing is going to be very nice okay We can see a few lines here. These are the vertical lines which is used as columns. Okay. So and the columns are visible. You can see that. Also, you can see a column at the last end. Alright, another column here. Another column you can see here. And uh, the signboard for the hatchery or the farm, whatever you can say, is here. All right. So the basic formation of the house, this is done. Now we're going to draw the tree here. Let's draw a few shapes like the clouds. You can see the trees here and other tree lines you can see along these lines all right in the bottom we can draw another tree line actually the grasses and the bush it's a contour of the ground 
that's uneven it's not plain all over the drawing all right we can see the contour here okay and this is the water line we can see a single boat which is staying here and uh, you can see a pole with which the boat it is just binded here and it's floating on the water so i'm just making a deep dark color for the boat the small boat all right and this is the water line you can see a reflection on the water okay <clears throat> for the house you can see the hatches on the shade this is the roof lines industrial tins and other materials which are very large sheets used to cover up a very large area you can see all right now i'm going to put some colors for the roof i'm going to put this color this is for the roof all right so let's put the color and uh, I'm going to complete the corner with the pencil drawing. All right. The color is nice. You can see the total color. It has a, a textured outlines in the roof all right and uh, for the water we're going to put the blue color here you can see okay the whole drawing it has a bluish effect from the crayon i'm using some variations for the depth and the deep strokes for and the light strokes i'm using the crayon it's making a color variations for the whole scenery all right so this is darkened now i'm going to put some green colors but before that i'm going to put light green on the ground with pencils you can see the light green okay the color is all over the drawing to the contour from one side to the other side all right with the dark green pencil i'm going to put some grasses and the contours showing all right 
So this is the signboard. You can see. All right. And the trees, those are going to be the separate colors other than the green color. So you can see here. I'm putting the tree lines. Mm -hmm. For the contour lines, you can see the color variations little different and I am just making the labeling in the points alright the board it has a other color okay Let's put some light green and dark green for the trees here. So you can see the trees here. Another tree line we can see on top of the rooftop. And uh, we can draw a few shades for each of the branches. You can see the branches. Also, you can draw a few branches here. All right. And you can see a few variations on the trees over the roof lines too. All right, so the drawing is becoming nice and uh, the structure for the uh, main building, this is going to be, let's see, navy blue or the orange. Let's put orange, orange columns for the main structure. All right. So there's the orange column. All these columns are just uh, putting here in a grid pattern. So it's like the repetition of the same distance of the same column and beam positions. All right. Now we are going to uh, put the shades here for the buildings. You can see the blue. Okay. That's for the upper floor. And we would like to provide a basement for the basement let's put a separate color which is purple so the purple is here there's a basement color 
you can see from the drawing that this is a very strong building and durable and long lasting that's why the agriculture farm and other stuffs this is going to run in a long time let's put a deeper shade for the base here all right okay so you can see that the drawing is very nice looking very nice i hope you like the videos thanks for watching and uh, if you follow the playlist you can find the whole lot of choices of yours you can select the options which category you want to learn and that's the main thing i'm going to draw lots of pictures for you guys stay with blue and drawing please subscribe the channel as you like the videos and put the bell icons on so that you can have all the new updates Thank you so much. Have a good day.